Hello, and here I am at the end of the week, walking Blue, who's somewhere around there. You can see him wandering around in the background. Hello, Blue, give us a wave. Yeah, we're doing um, last thing in the evening. It's just sunset. Pretty much, I think the sun's already gone down. Um, so we're going to have to be turning around in a minute and heading back before it gets dark. But um, giving Blue his, his last um, walk, last proper walk any of the week. And um, yeah, so this has been the first um, week that I've actually started writing some of um, book nine of the Benicia Chronicles, as yet untitled. It's the sequel to For Lord and Land and picks up um, a couple of months after the events um, at the end of that book. And um, it's a weird time because for the last three or four weeks I've been plotting and planning and researching and jotting down ideas and structuring as far as I can, you know, what the new book's going to be. There always comes a point when the research just becomes tedious and I start feeling I have to just start writing. I feel like I'm not... <clears throat> I think it's, it's, it's mad, but I start feeling like if I'm not actually writing words that are going to go into the book that somehow I'm kind of shirking my, my duty or not doing my job, which is crazy because obviously you need to research and, and plot and plan and think about the story and also later on you need to edit. But all of those different steps always feel like a bit of a, a cop-out to me. It doesn't feel like the real job. So anyway, I got to this stage um, in the middle of this week, Wednesday, I thought, right, that's it, I'm going to start writing. So I, I did... And the first thousand words or so came relatively easily. Um, and then it all starts getting a bit difficult as you realise, or as I realise, that I don't actually know exactly, you know, what, what's happening. And um, I've got to establish the place and the location where they're, where they're at. And, um, and I like to start stories with a big moment of action and excitement. So you're not only trying to tell them the exciting moment of action, something happening, but also establish the backstory of why they're there and what's happening and who's who. And there's, inevitably there's, there's some new characters introduced. So all of that is quite difficult. I'm not 100% sure that what I've done is particularly great, but I felt by the end of the week, I felt like I was making progress. And I feel like this is all part of, the, of my process that I feel like I don't really know what's going on but then things begin to click and as I progress and as I write, I, it's something I always forget that it's, it's actually in the act of writing often the best ideas come. And, um, it, but it's, it's having that sort of moment of bravery, I guess, or whatever it is of just thinking, right, that's it, I've got to do it, I'm going to start writing, even though I don't know exactly what's going to come next. And somewhere the magic happens and um, special moments come and those things that I don't really understand how they're going to work out and when I start writing in the end um, they do work out and the plot sort of lines up so fingers crossed that happens um, I hope you're all well and um, staying safe and reading and enjoying life as much as you can and um, yeah have a great have a great day and a great week great weekend and um, happy reading and thanks for your support as always I'll speak to you soon.